What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. So today what we're gonna be talking about is polishing out aluminum. Uh, I'm gonna show you a couple things that I usually use to uh, polish aluminum out. Uh, some of the first stuff that I got is this uh, Eagle One Never Dull. I really like this stuff, it's kinda like a wadding, it's like a wadding type stuff, it looks like this. Um, it works really well. Uh, I would really recommend this for like any chrome or anything like that as your, uh, your first step into uh, cleaning some of that stuff up. So this is one of the things I really like and it's pretty inexpensive. Um, another one is this uh, Mother's Mag Aluminum Polish. This stuff's all right. Um, I, I definitely like that other stuff quite a bit more. Uh, but this stuff, it gets the job done, but if you leave it out in the heat like this one, uh, in the elements, like in your garage, it gets all nasty and it goes from turning white to pretty gross. So uh, this stuff is not the best. I probably have to stir this up again uh, and it, it may never be the same. So one of my favorite metal polishes is this Flitz. Now I've had this for quite a while. You guys can kind of see that right there. Flitz, F-L-I-T-Z. Uh, this stuff works great. I really love this stuff. I got it at like a little trade show or whatever, like a, like an as seen on TV. I think you guys may have seen this stuff before, but uh, I've had it for years. I've probably had this for like, I probably had this like 10 plus years and you use just a really small amount of it and it works really good and it goes a really long way. So I'm going to show you an example on my buddy's uh, Suzuki over here is uh, forks that I was polishing out. So his front fork on this, I did one side. I'll show you guys that right now. And then you can see the other side right here. Um, I also did have not done this side yet, but uh, I'll show you guys an example after looking at this. Now, another thing you can use um, when you have a lot of oxidized aluminum is I like to use basically just steel wool. So I have some of this. You can get it in uh, different different grits, right? Like a little three pack. Um, this is, what is this? Coarse, medium, and fine. I usually use the fine unless I'm working on something that's really, really nasty. So that will usually get a lot of the oxidization off. You can also use different grits of sandpaper um, starting, you know, probably around, I don't know, three, 400 grit, something like that, 250, 300, depending on how bad it is. And you can step it up to finer grits and then until use the full out polish, which I like to use this with a drill. So let's get down to it. Uh, we'll kind of show you the bike over here. Like I said, show you that before and after picture, yo. So you can see that wheel right there. Um, I cleaned up the outer area of the wheel and also uh, cleaned up the black inside the wheel. And then that's the part of the fork right there that I cleaned up quite a bit going on to the top of the bike and just kind of cleaned up the fork. Now also I polished out the, uh, the tank on his bike as well and uh, also did some of the other stuff on the side like the headers and uh, clay bar, a lot of that stuff also. All right guys, so I'm gonna clean up this chrome piece real quick right here. So if you guys can kind of see in the reflection, you can kind of see just a little bit of pitting and you know, just a little bit of dirt. So just as a reference, just take a microfiber towel, just kind of clean it off, you know, it looks pretty good. Um, but then we'll use some of this Never Dole right here. Pull this out, like I said before, it's kind of like a, uh, it wads up. It's kind of like a little ball, almost cotton pull this stuff. And you could just kind of just polish it on here. Um, just do it in a little buffing fashion. And really quickly, uh, this thing will also take off. It'll take off like a little bit of surface rust and stuff like that. But you just clean it up, throw it back in the can. You can take a microfiber and then just really just clean that up. And then boom, stuff's looking like new again. It just cleans that up really, really nice. So you got a really nice reflection on that. Um, whereas it didn't look that clean before. Um, another spot I have over here. So it's a real nice job of cleaning this up right here. Um, this is just chrome. Now I would do some of this aluminum here, but this is actually clear coated. So it's like harder to, to do. You gotta get the clear coat off before you can actually polish the aluminum. So I can't really do that. So we'll go ahead over to the front fork and I'll show you 
what a difference this stuff makes on that. Okay guys, so here's that oxidization right here. So you can see that it's pretty heavy in this little area right here. So I'll go ahead and take the wadding stuff again. Let's kind of rub it on here. I haven't done this side at all. Just with this stuff, rubbing it back and forth on here. Let's see what kind of result we get pretty quick. So I've been probably doing this for, I don't know, 15 seconds. You can see where a lot of that has uh, it's gone onto the pad there. And you can see that it's kind of taken some of it off um, onto the material itself. So now let's take a rag, wipe it down. Let's kind of see what that looks like. You can see a little bit of extra residue there. But now you can already see it taking down that oxidized stuff. What I did on the other side actually is this is why I use the steel wool because this stuff was pretty bad. So let me show you how that works real quick. All right guys, so I got the fine steel wool out right here. Um, this is the fine little pad. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rub that up and down on here. And uh, it should take off a lot of this like really fast. You'll see how quickly it removes it. Like you guys can see it right there. It has already shined that up quite a bit. Uh, took off a lot of that oxidization. So what it took off here and then what was originally there like that. So yeah, just rub this on here. Cleans it up really quickly. Boom. You guys can see again just how quickly that cleans it up. Now you can rub this stuff on here after the fact and polish it up just a little bit more. And once I'm done with this stuff, what I usually like to do is uh, go back with that flitz because that has like really fine polishing material in it. Stuff's made in Germany as it would be because it's really good. You know, I, I would say probably my three favorite places where stuff are made are in Germany, Japan, and the USA. Um, I feel like all three of those places make really high quality stuff uh, usually. And there are quite a few other places that make high quality things as well, but that's just what I find in general that uh, if it's got that name on it, it's usually good stuff. So with the flits, um, I can go really lightly, you know, on here, like just a little bit, like on my finger, just kind of put that on there. And uh, you can do it with a microfiber towel, you know, to where you're just gonna Polish it up a little bit. Now you can see all that, that's the uh, the removed stuff right there. Pretty gross, so then you take a clean side, kind of just polish that out. Boom. I can see just how good this looks. Um, I mean, look how much better that looks than it did before. Look up here. That's what it looked like previously, right there. Nasty. And you can just see how good that looks right there. All right guys, so that was just kind of a quick wrap up of uh, what stuff I like to use and kind of how I like to apply it. Um, like I said, this stuff works great. I really like this stuff. I'll have a link below um, for like Amazon or whatever where you can pick this stuff up. Um, I'll see if they have this on Amazon. Not quite sure if they sell this flitz. It may still be like a trade show type thing, but if I do, um, I'll put it down below. This stuff you can just pick up. I'll put an Amazon link also, but you can get this at like any hardware store. Um, but it works really well uh, just to, you know, break down the aluminum and just kind of clean it up. Um, this also works really good on like rusted bolts or anything like that, that you can just clean it up real quick. And then uh, I like to just hit it with this stuff after the fact and that'll get off a lot of the old nasty grime. This stuff, Brasso, uh, not really a huge fan of this stuff. Smells pretty horrible, and it doesn't really work that good. So, I mean, it works all right, but just not as good as some of the other stuff. Um, but, you know, this will do the trick if you have to. And then, like I said before, the mother stuff works all right as well. Um, that works really good on like mag wheels and things like that. Um, but it's definitely uh, something you want to use later on in the steps, like the fine polish when you're trying to get it like really shiny. If you're trying to get stuff that looks pretty nasty already, use that and use the steel wool 
and this stuff and you'll be good to go. So again, guys, uh, I know this was kind of a quick video. Hope you liked it. Hope maybe you learned something, uh, maybe some tricks that you haven't tried before. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Later, guys, and peace out. Today, what we're going to be doing is installing this fuel pump into my uh, 2014 Subaru WRX.